Oh. What am I going to do? My central eating system's being drained. My poor ankle has been sprained. Oh. And just when I might hope for a friend to help me cope, all I get is insolence. I'm met with indifference and disdain. Yeah, treated shoddily. And it's not right. I may require a new boiler and water tank, but I'm sure the final bill won't break the bank. For I have a service plan. No, I cancelled it. Oh, damn. I'm gonna have to dig deep, but first I'll have a big wee. Where's me hanky? See ya. <laughs> My central eating system's being drained And my poor ankle, oh, it's been sprained I could be in a hotel, being treated oh so well Instead this grotty cabin bed is where I have to lay my head in shame In shame, in shame And it's a shame Right, back to bed. Oh. 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 That was delicious, Mary. Mm. The bacon was particularly nice. Oh, good. Would you like another rash, yeah? Um, No, no. I've had ample sufficiency. All right. I'll have another coffee, mm. if there's any going. Yeah, there is, Ken. <laughs> Thank you. I see. <laughs> Good morning, Ken. Morning, John. I thought we'd agreed oh, that... I'm sorry, John, I'm going to have to take this. Oh. Mary. What? <coughs> what the hell are you doing? Hey? Cooking yes, a kind of full English breakfast. Oh, yes. Oh, where did this tanner come from? Oh, dear. Where do you think? Right. From Ken? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh, all right. Yeah, thank you. Oh, dear. I've had some bad news. Oh. I need a new boiler. And it won't be fitted until next week. Oh, dear. Oof. Well, that's all right, Ken. You can stay here until everything's sorted. Oh. Can't you, Mary? Oh, yes. Yes, with plenty of room. That's very kind of you, but... No, I've put you to enough trouble already. Oh, don't be silly. You've been no trouble at all, Ken. No, you haven't. Now, would you like to take your coffee through to the lounge? Yes. Mm. Yes, thank you. And in the meantime, we'll have your bedroom serviced. Right. Thank you. You'll see to that, won't you, Mary? <laughs> Can't be joking. Oh. Suddenly, there was a way out of our financial time spot. I'd always wanted to run a B&B, knowing full well that in order for guests to enjoy their stay, certain house rules must be applied and observed at all times. Will all patrons kindly ensure that the shower curtain is tucked in prior to taking a shower? And then, whilst showering, Make further regular checks to establish that the curtain has not been disturbed. What? Oh, what have I let myself in for? I think I'll go back to bed. Do a bit of paperwork. Have a dirty Malibu. Do, 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 do. Oh, here's another one. The management can accept no responsibility for any accident caused whilst climbing or descending from this ladder. Yes. <gasps> John! You made me jump. I'm sorry to disturb oh. you, Ken. I've just brought you a fresh towel oh. and uh, some writing paper and a pen. Oh, thanks very Might much. Come in handy. Yes. Oh, I see. There you go. Oh, thank you very much, Ken. Uh, Mr Worthington. Thank you. Oh, Mr Worthington. Oh. Jan? Yes, love. <coughs> Darren's just been on the phone. He mm -hmm. wants to come home. <gasps> He didn't sleep a wink last night. Oh. That sofa bed Plunker promised him turned out to be two chairs shoved together. Oh. And he's got a shocking cold. So he's coming home, John. He's going to sleep in his own bed tonight. He can't, love. What do you mean? Guess we're full. You know, <laughs> the room has been let out to Ken. £70 a week, Mary. Mm. That's twice as much as Darren was giving us. Well. Plus tips for room service. I don't care. I want Ken out. Oh, that could be Darren now. What shall I tell Ken? Tell him there's been a priority booking. Oh. Clever, Mary. I like it. Ken? Mr Worthington? No, just call him Ken, I think. Ken? Go away. Uh, I know you want to get rid of me. What do you mean? I overheard a conversation with Mary. Oof. I'm staying here. 
can. Don't be silly. You can't make me go. Oh, Ooh, it's not Darren. It's Joan Chitter. Hiya, John. Hello, Joan. Mary tells me that Ken is seeking accommodation. Well, yes. yes. Ken. Hiya. Ken. It's Joan. Let us in, love. No. Oof. You're going to come and stay with me for a few days, Ken? In my spare room? Hmm. Oh, Ooh. he's Ooh. gone shy on me, Mary. He has. I don't feel uh, very comfortable about this, Mary. Oh. Feels like um, mm. when somebody's been sectioned, put in a home. No. You know what I mean? It, yes. it's not, I know it's not like that, but no. it just feels like that. Mm. Do you know what I mean, Joe? Yes. Ken, come on. Oh, hey, where is he? Ken's disappeared. He has. Ken. And so has the ladder. Uh, leading up to the cabin bed. Oh. He's pulled it up after him oh. to prevent us from following him. He's made the bed like a fortress. Mm. Do you know what I mean, Joan? I do. Yeah. Come on, and it Ken. won't work hey. because Come Joan on. and Mary Come have grabbed Ken by Ken. the ankles Come on. and are pulling him. Good-naturedly, but, you know, Come there's on. a serious intent there. Come to my house and have a massage, Ken. No, I don't want to. You do, love. You do, Ken. Come on. Come on. Oof. <clears throat> don't think Ken's going to get out of this one. Come on, Ken. See you next week, listeners. No, That's it, Mary. No, no. The Shuttleworths was written and performed by Graham Fellows. The producer was Dawn Ellis.